Welcome back to Spring Watch and welcome back to Pensthorpe in North Norfolk and also welcome back to another fine, warm, summer, spring evening. It's gorgeous. Now, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I know. Fingers crossed for many more, I have to say. Absolutely. Um, we are going to kick off the show by introducing you to a little nest of chicks with a hairstyle that only Martin Hughes Games and I could dream of. They are, of course, our Skylarks. We're also going to be bringing you a world exclusive on this edition of Spring Watch involving this bird, the Great Bustard. And we're going to tell you why it's a great British bird again. Because I've been sitting on a secret that's been burning a hole in my integrity since Sunday afternoon. And it concerns this bird. It's one of the world's best. It's the Great Bustard. And this is a male displaying. And just look at it. It's got these great plumes that come out beneath its, its, its beak there. It fluffs itself out. It turns its wings inside out. It looks oh. like it. Well, it looks like a vicar in a tutu. It? <laughs> it really, really does. What an astonishing What an analogy bird. I would ever have come up with. But no, you oh, I don't know. <laughs> They've been the subject of a long-standing, difficult and ambitious reintroduction organised by the Great Bustard Group. And here you can see them putting some birds back out onto Salisbury Plain. These are fitted with radio transmitters. They've been brought in from Russia over the last few years and they've been setting them out there. It's been a pretty small operation. Dave Waters and his wife and all of the other helpers have done a great job. Anyway, I was driving back here mm. to Springwatch, Pensthorpe, Sunday evening, safely. I get a call on my mobile, which I answer safely, and I immediately do a safe U-turn <laughs> straight back down <laughs> the M3, <laughs> out onto Salisbury Plain, because I got some great news. And I went to meet Dave and Lynn to hear all about it. <sighs> Lynn, Dave. It's a bit of a walk. It's going to be worth it, isn't it's it? It's more than worth it. Oh, go on, before it. I can even get my breath back. See, on the horizon here, there's three prominent bushes. There's where the green vegetation gives way to that white chalky soil. One chick's just coming out now, I've and another got, one... I've got it, I think. I've got it, but it's a long, long, long... Have a, have a look through the scope. It should be on there. I've got it, I've got it. Look at that. Absolutely sensational. British great bastards. You've got to be the happiest couple of people on planet Earth. On planet oh, Earth. First in the wild in Britain, 177 years. And 177 it's just yeah. years. 1832 was the last time a young great bustard was seen in the wild in Great Britain. Fantastic. And, and Lynn, you were the first to see these things. That's not only a great privilege, it must have been tremendously exciting. It was. Uh, I was just looking out across the fields and it's always exciting to see a great bustard anyway, but to see this one with chicks, it, it was just fantastic. Now look, in true Spring Watch tradition, everything has to be named and since you saw them first, you should have that honour. So what about a name for these two little fluff balls? Well, the female bird, um, Green Six, she's got the name of Custard and she was named by the children at Dilton Marsh School. So if she's called Custard, then I suppose the chick should be Rhubarb and Crumble. There we are. Rhubarb <laughs> and Crumble. The names of the first great busted chicks for 177 years, as certified by Lynn and Springwatch. Listen. <laughs> We got Nelson, we got Wellington, you know, we, we've got all these great figures from British history. I didn't realise that rhubarb and crumble were going to be an addition to that. Really. <laughs> anyway, the kids of Dilton Marsh Primary School will be very proud and that's what counts. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and Springwatch viewers, listen up, because only yesterday another female great bustard managed to hatch another chick successfully. So there is another chick running around Salisbury Plain, as yet unnamed. And the Great Bustard Group have given you the task of naming this chick. To help you, I should tell you the name of the female that hatched it. She's called Fanny. Good luck. <laughs> Any instant thoughts, Martin? <laughs> No, probably not. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> I tell you Bless what, I tell you what we should do. I tell you what we should do, Martin. Is on Springwatch Unsprung. Yes. Press your red button straight after the show. We should have. We should. You know, go onto the website now, BBC.co.uk forward slash Springwatch. Yes. Start sending in tell some names. Yes. And uh, maybe on Springwatch Unsprung, we can then um, we'll report back. Report back. <laughs> exactly. We'll exactly. Have okay. 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 <laughs> I hate to say it, but enough of the bastards. 
Now, naming of the wonderful Bustard Chip. Oh, of course. Fantastic. We had lots and lots of suggestions, some less appropriate than others. <laughs> Just remind us of the name of the female. The female was called Fanny. Yep. Um, and with a very straight face, uh, we've got the but the Bustard Conservation Group have decided that Snowy White suggestion mm. is the one they're going for. It's Sarum. Sarum. Very appropriate, very historic name for yeah. Salisbury. Isn't Salisbury. It? And Salisbury and that's it. Yeah, and that's pretty close to where the Bustards are on Salisbury Plain. So, so we've it's got Sarum the chick. So we've got what is it? Rhubarb, Rhubarb Crumble, Crumble, and, and Sarum. Sarum. Yeah. <laughs> Don't roll off the tongue. Well, I hate to say it, but I, I rather hope that no more hatch. <laughs> Now, we also had some very exciting news. Chris was almost apoplectic with excitement to tell us about these birds. They are bustards, and the very first bustard chicks for nearly 200 years hatched out the other week. Uh, this female is custard with rhubarb and crumble, her two chicks. Um, and there was also, a day later, another hatching belonging to this bird. This is Fanny, and we asked you to name her chick, and you named it Serum, the old name for Salisbury, and we can report that all chicks are doing very, very well. Fantastic. Fantastic.